Okay, I'm gonna do a video walking around the pond. So we built it in January of 22, and it just filled up for the first time this spring. And uh, luckily we got enough rain in July that it filled up again. So it was uh, going over to spillway yesterday. And you can see it from the house. If you gotta stand up on the porch and then you can see it. So I got a big hill to cut down if one of these days if I just want something to do. Take out uh, probably 18 inches off the top of a hill and uh, I'd be able to see it just sitting down on the back porch. And where I just walked used to be all cedar trees. I mean, they were scattered out, but you couldn't see any of this uh, from the house. And I've got videos on clearing this property, uh, this area. That trailer's got my pump on it. So I put in some sod and uh, it was real dry when I did it. So I had to water it for a while just to get it established. Here's a dock we built. Planted a cypress tree. Thanks to uh, the O'Hearn family for donating the cypress tree. So it's pretty cool. It'll give us some shade at the dock. Right here at the end of the dock, it's, I mean, I can't touch. I'm 6'3 and I can't touch. And it's, I'm guessing it's probably eight foot deep right there perfect spot to jump off all this grass has come in real good just naturally this is you know we left a pile of topsoil right here to make a little peninsula on purpose Got some more sod strips here the start of the dam this is coming in real good this grass and also had uh, had sod put on the uh, face of the dam and I kind of learned my lesson I should have done that just basically as soon as we built it and I, I thought mother nature would fill it in a little quicker but then we had a drought last year so it did not fill in so I bought sod this spring and uh, got it put on and it's taken off good. I had to water it several times. Um, and right here I've got Bermuda coming in. I sprigged this myself. So I don't know if you can see that on the video, but I've got lots of Bermuda coming in. And uh, when I after I sprigged it, I sprayed ryegrass seed over it just so I'd have something come in quick and give me some cover. And then that Bermuda is going to naturally spread what i'll probably do is in the spring rotor till the whole top of this dam and it'll help redistribute these sprigs and just you know they'll have to start over but they'll be spread out a lot more evenly And to my best measurements, if I remember correctly, I think we're right at about an acre or just over of actual surface area. It's kind of a hard thing to measure. I'm just using a uh, using a satellite app and guessing where the boundaries are because I don't have a satellite view of it uh, with it totally full. So this is a spillway. I had ryegrass on it, and then you know once it got hot, and the ryegrass got this tall. It just it died so it's done it's growing season's over um, so i'm leaving it and then i'm going to re-sprig it kind of when the weather allows or it may even be next spring so you see the water and it worked really well the water's coming off nice and even 
just have a it's probably i don't know 30 feet wide where the water's just coming off see i'm already i'm already in standing water right now comes up it kind of floods this tree so we'll see see if it survives i don't know if i really want it anyways so you can tell how that water disperses all the way across there and then it flows over um, we left a there's kind of a hump over there I'm never gonna be able to see it on camera right there there's like a hump that goes way back beyond the uh, end of the dam and it gets that makes that water go way over here close to these trees and then it can go down to where it would have been going before before the pond was built so make sure to keep it off of the dam I hear kids screaming you never know with them So this area, if I had it to do over again, I would have cut this with the dozer more and made it steeper because I'm going to have, probably have a real problem with cattails coming up because it's so shallow. Like I said, that's all hindsight. First time I've done this and uh, after two weeks on the dozer, I was pretty much just ready to be finished and had to call it quits. So couple more hours I could have had this uh, just cut in a lot better but you know we'll see how it does and then uh, if I need to cut it for sure uh, what I will do is that during a drought year you know once it's once it gets lower naturally I'll put the pump in it water the grass or something with the pump and uh, pull it down a little bit and then I can come in and I can recut this whole edge I could really do a lot of it with my uh, tractor and box blade so that hill right there is, the kids call it Sunset Mountain. So you can catch a good sunset, go up on top of that, which it's all overgrown now. And then you can watch the sunset. And we flooded that tree purposely just, I don't know if it's really needed or not, but my thinking is this gives it gives more habitat for whatever whatever needs to grow and multiply. Maybe little fish will swim up there around the tree and the tree branches and all the little brush. Give them a place to hide. This is as full as it gets right here. It floods this area. So when the water goes down, this this area right here, there won't be standing water. There's all kinds of things in there moving around. So we're pretty much went all the way around. <laughs> 